What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ostentoski here of Mason Brew. Welcome to episode eight of Freshman Feature. Getting down to the wire here. Today, we're covering the three-star athlete out of Brooklyn, New York, early enrollee Will Mohan. You can find the previous episode in the description below. As always, the link to the full description, the playlist for Freshman Feature can be found up above. Let's get into Will Mohan here. His high school, he went to Erasmus Hall High School out of New York. He led the team to back-to-back league championships as a junior and senior. It was their first league titles since 2012. As a senior, they had a six-game shutout streak. Throughout the season, they were averaging 4.3 points per game, so obviously a very dominant defense in the state of New York. Looking at his stats, I'll throw it up on the screen here. As a senior, he had over 50 tackles, 13 sacks, and a fumble recovery. Pretty close to his junior year output, 52 tackles, 13 sacks, and one pick. Sophomore year, right around 50 tackles at 49 and three sacks as well. Looking at his metrics, his 4.78 40 time is not the best, was said to run a 4.56 as a rising junior at an Ohio State camp. He plays faster than that 4.78, so don't be scared too much. Thing that I really like to see is that shuttle time of 4.19. That is a very good shuttle time. One of my favorite attributes of his is his change of direction, and that shows in the shuttle here. His vertical of 31.6 doesn't show the top end athleticism that you would see usually around mid 30s. That would be around four star range. So not the best vertical again with his 40. He's not a top end athlete, but you'll see that his scouting alleviates some of his metrics here for me at least. Looking at his rankings, so he's a four star to Rivals, three star elsewhere. Rivals has him as an outside linebacker, 18th in the country, number one in the state of New York. ESPN and 247 agree that he's an athlete around mid-40s as the athlete and four or five in New York. That brings his composite just under 500 nationally, 21 athlete, and number three in New York. He's listed around six foot one, 190 pounds. For his recruitment, so his parents really loved the vibe of Ann Arbor. Uh, Mohan himself liked the coach's energy with him. That was a big draw. Michigan had the greatest pull with the Viper position. It's a very good fit. He had quite a few visits to Michigan throughout 2019. He noted that in April, Ohio State, Penn State, Pitt, Rutgers were all recruiting him the hardest. He visited Ohio State the week before his commitment in 2019. He was likely a take for the Buckeyes. Erasmus Hall was a school that OSU had a pipeline with, notably Curtis Samuel, a former student of that high school. Mohan said that Ohio State was pitching him as a Jabril Peppers role, which it's a Michigan-defined role there, so <laughs> it didn't really play into their strategy of recruiting him away from the position that kind of uh, invented the Viper role, so to speak. So anyway, the week after the Ohio State visit in June 2019, he committed part of a four-man uh, commit day for the Wolverines, part of that big weekend. So offers Ohio State, obviously, Penn State, Wisconsin, Miami, Nebraska, Tennessee, Michigan State, Boston College were some of the top ones there. Obviously, some lower tier offers as well. So this looks more like a, a low four-star offer list than a three-star, but he is right around that range, so it does make sense. So looking at his scouting, his coach says that he's a Viper to a T. He calls him relentless, Tasmanian devil. Uh, he has some pretty fun quotes. He says uh, those National Geographic documentaries where the wolves are chasing the rabbits, that is him. A ferocious hitter with relentless pursuit, bad intentions. Rivals really likes him. Adam Friedman over there says this kid is going to decapitate someone across the middle. Uh, likes the mobility that he brings to the table at linebacker. Bigger frame than Jabril Peppers, not faster, more fluidity than Jabril at this level. Um, he has good route anticipation and is super physical. Looking at 24-7 sports, Brian Doan says, plays very fast and hard, explosive, changes directions very well, oozes athleticism and burst. And 24-7 in general, they, they say he's built for a hybrid role. Lightning first step is a tone setter, excels off the edge and in the backfield. His nickname is Apache, which is amazing. Things that he can improve upon, though. Upper body strength can improve there a little bit. Pre-snap technique, coverage skills, concerned about adding weight, and his overall speed. So the consensus throughout is that he is built for the Viper position. Someone's not fast enough for a true safety role and doesn't really have the coverage skills for it, but someone who's really good blitzing, really great setting the edge and blitzing off the edge, uh, you know, smaller than a traditional linebacker and a little bit better quickness. That's just, that's the Viper position and that's exactly where Mohan is going. So let's look in at, at his film here real quick. All right, let's first look here at his run defense. Vast majority of these clips 
throughout his rush and or throughout his run defense and pass defense is off the edge here. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that he brings it, man. He is playing fast and ferocious, as his scouting report said. Uh, seemingly told to rush the edge every single play. At least that's what I'm getting from these clips. He does uh, track plays well from behind. You can see there that closing speed to track down that def that uh, that screen pass was really impressive. But uh, he's often getting him. They're often getting him tracking plays from behind if he's not you know rushing the passer. So he has solid change of direction. His shuttle is definitely on display throughout these plays here, and good acceleration when tracking from behind. Main thing that I see here is will be training keys. So if a play is going around him instead of just screaming off the edge, how does he scrape down the line? You know, how does he shuffle? How does he knife through gaps up the middle? Those are things that won't often be asked of him since he will be primarily setting the edge as a viper as kind of that boundary safety. But I do want to see him have a little bit more discipline there. I haven't gotten a sense of his eyes, his instincts. Um, when he's at the second level, he's always in the backfield and tracking from behind. So for, you know, it's not something I'm going to fault him. It seems like he was green lighted to just rush every play. Um, only other downside I'll say he's tackling high. Would like to see him taking guys out at the hips. He's still bringing the heat. I love his ferocity, but something to improve upon as well. So pass rush here, every positive from the last section still holds true here and even a little bit better. So he's just obliterating quarterbacks here. I could have put these... Uh, a ton of these hits into the big hits section coming next, but I didn't. Um, but it's it's where his skill set goes from, wow, this guy's really fun to watch, to he's going to kill a guy. That last hit in particular has me scared for these quarterbacks. Uh, good stripping motion there, causing a fumble. He did that multiple times. Uh, change of direction, again, something that was noted in his scouting report, something that really shows his bend off the edge, flying into the backfield. He, has, he shows the ability that's really tough to see a tight end really picking up, it's going to take a running back. And even then he has to change of direction, the quick moves to, um, to do really well. And I did mention this in the running aspect, but he plays the option really well. He's able to break down in the backfield. So he does show some discipline there. Um, but man, when there's a, a quarterback with no help, either from the tight end or, or no running back, he is in trouble with Mohan screaming off the edge. So that's where, you know, that's where the Viper film really comes in handy. That's where the role will be built for him. And then these are a few clips pulled from the previous two sections here. And these are just him just, again, either decapitating a guy or just really laying someone out. Again, he goes high, uh, but, you know, he, he's bringing it. You know, you can teach someone to go a little bit lower. He caused a fumble on that last play. But, uh, but man, he just ends a couple guys here. He, he brings the heat. So very, very, very little, very few clips of him in coverage. Again, his change of direction is very encouraging in this regard. So him grabbing a tight end or a guy of the backfield shows some promise, but pick six here is all we got in terms of his pass coverage. And then finally for special teams, this is just a fun mashup of him just blowing blockers up. Um, this, this one, he actually blows a blocker up and then he tracks down the play. So good job there. He is exactly what you want out of a Viper, given he's already... Uh, enrolled early you could see potential playing time early on in his career just because he has such versatility on special teams to be determined but um, very much like previous Vipers his upside at special teams is more than almost any other position I love this clip in particular where he blocks without destroying the guy uh, very smart on special teams there as well so all right for his comp you probably saw this coming it's either Jareel Peppers or Klee Hudson he is more on the Kaleek Hudson side of things just because he isn't a freak athlete. He's not going to be moonlighting on offense all that much. Uh, but Hudson was a 5'11", 205 ball of muscle out of the Northeast, uh, built for the Viper position as well. Kaleek Hudson ran a 4.56 at the scouting combine, likely where Mohan will be at the end of his career. Hudson was ranked just inside the top 400 as a recruit, so a little bit higher than what we saw out of Mohan. And I think Hudson did have a little bit more exciting tape. Um, but he was split between three star and four star, depending on who you ask, extremely good athlete. So he was an extremely good fit for the Viper role overall. There was question about where he would fit in the NFL. That was a big contributor to why some services weren't ranking him as high. Obviously he made the NFL draft in the fifth round and he's going to be an all pro in special teams in my opinion. So again, you see a lot of similarities from Mohan. I think Mohan will be a little bit better in coverage than what we saw out of Cleek Hudson. Hudson wasn't really asked to do that a whole lot. I'd be more comfortable 
with the change of direction Mohan brings to put him in those situations. Um, he's not as strong at this point as Hudson was, but he has a little bit, like I said, a little bit more fluidity at the position. So I'm excited for him. Um, you know, looking at his projection now, he's up to 6'1", 205. So he's close to playing weight already. Maybe add another 5, 10 pounds and you'll get there. Steve Lorenz is reporting that they're going to get him in early. So he's already an early enrollee. And like I said, special teams plays for Viper is very great. You even look at Jordan Glasgow, who rotated down to weak side linebacker. He was an excellent special teams player. And Mohan is a very similar build. He can get in there early and make an impact. So there's lots of competition at the Viper position to see when it'll actually be Mohan's time to compete there. You have Michael Barrett for 2020, I guess the spring of 2021. Anyway, Michael Barrett is seemingly the next Viper as a redshirt sophomore. Anthony Solomon is also around there, though he hasn't been adding enough weight to get to that position. You have Vela Squez, who's getting there. He's also training at the weak side linebacker position. And then you have fellow freshmen Morant and Moten. So from the true freshman, I would say this is by far Mohan's best position compared to Morant and Moten. They have other options at safety positions. So I think Mohan fits the, the Viper a little bit better. Vela Squez seems like more of a weak side linebacker. So really you have Michael Barrett and then Anthony Anthony Solomon. And I think I like Mohan a little bit better in Solomon as a fit for the position at this point. But looking at that, it'll probably be 2022 before you actually see some spot snaps for Mohan in garbage time at the Viper position. But again, you'll see him all over the field on special teams earlier than that. So... So the thing I really like is he's the fifth lowest recruit of the 22-man class for the class of 2020, and he sure doesn't seem like a you know fifth worst, if you want to say. He seems like a really good fit for the position. I really like the get. I think he has tremendous upside there, and this is a case where uh, it's a guy that Michigan recruited for a position rather than you know get a guy and then figure out wh- where he'll end up. He is so squarely fit for the Viper class that his ranking isn't as important as the skill set that fits that position, and that's surely the case with Mo- Will Mohan here. So that's all I got for this episode, guys. Again, let me know your thoughts on him in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's only two episodes left in this feature for the class of 2020. Thanks for watching all the episodes you have thus far beyond that guys stay safe out there um hopefully we'll have a spring season but as always go blue